Welcome everybody to All the Mods 9 to the Sky, episode 28, where we automate mystical agro craft or mystical agriculture. My my my, my uh editor got upset with me with it, misnaming it. Uh where we use uh well let's hop into the episode and see what we use to get this done. Our Let's get into this. Uh, we're going to need some controllers here. I have a rough idea. We only need one. And I did not teach you how to make sticks. Okay, uh, sticks should be easy for it to know how to make. It already knows how to make everything else. Okay, so there we go. So now, XNet, we want a controller. Uh, we're going to need, I'm going to say for it to make me 30 connectors. And something like 100 cables. That, that's just to start with. We're going to need a plug. Okay, so we've got cables, we've got connectors, we've got, uh, I, got I made some extra phytogenic isolators here. Uh, we're also going to need come down here we, we've let this run for a while now and we've got uh, close to half a million of these inferium seat uh, essences here but i would like to make uh didn't we have dirt essence didn't we make the dirt essence seats in the last episode, it's been a few days since I've played this. So I can't remember. Oh, we're going to need this seed. Um, let's see here. Okay, there's the dirt essence seed. Okay, I, I thought we had that. Uh, we want some of these fire seeds here. So we're going to need uh, prosperity seeds. A couple set of these. Uh, and these fire uh, algorit ag aglomentro. Yes, I can English that. Um, need a total of four of those. Alright. Uh, make these real real simple. Real simple. Just have to do them one at a time here. And, oh, uh, if you guys are wondering why this keeps clearing on me, uh, I set this up in terminal settings to automatically clear terminal grid on close if applicable. I mean, I could turn that off and it's going to keep it. But, uh, there we go. It's a very nice, easy way of handling it. Four of those. Next. Uh, I also want to make 
Appetite Seed. Uh, appetite Seeds are Tier 2 ones with 4 Appetite. And it's like, well, we are getting Appetite, so why do we need that? Uh, I want to completely automate uh, Phyto Grow. So to do that, we're going to need the uh, one seed. Two, three, four. Uh, our master here. All right, so now we can take this. Uh, some appetite. Like we have forty one and K of it, but you know, never know, we might run out. And if we automate it for what we need it for, uh, it won't run out. No, it shouldn't run out. We'll put it this way. This is just the uh, getting started into this. Yes, yes, hungry, hungry. I am going to bring uh, all of this stuff over here and get it all set up. And we're going to need this sink. Uh, and how we're going to set these all up is I would like to be all of my... Uh, Phytogenic isolators uh, in stack, you know. Like, I, I have a, an idea to make it very tall, as tall as whatever we've got here. A phytogenic isolator going from right over here all the way down to right over here. Of uh, phytogenic isolators making these seeds. Now, uh, how we're going to do this is we're going to use a XNet controller to control everything. We're going to first break that and put the uh, XNet controller. I'm going to put the XNet controller here. Okay. I'm going to put the first cable right there. Uh, I'm going to slap this on here real quick, give this some energy. Is this not the right thing? Is it plug or point? I That looks like the wrong thing I grabbed. Um, yeah, so it's not getting power from that. I'm going to check here. Did I grab the wrong flux point? Receives energy from the adjacent block passively. Provides energy to adjacent block. Yeah, see, that must be... Okay. I see what I did. I had one of these uh, plugs in my inventory... Yeah, that, that's what I did. All right. Okay, so once that's completely full, we can break this here. 
Um, secretly attach it here. Okay. And set up a sink right here. Now, this is just the base stuff here. So we're going to say, one, we want to do energy, create. Okay, on this, we're going to create one here. We're going to say, uh, it's going to extract from this. We're gonna create this. We're going to uh, insert it into the block controller here. Now, once that is done, this will always receive energy from this. Uh, but on top of that, if we put our initial connectors here, okay, we put our initial connectors there, and we bring a uh, network cable over, we will see these in here. And we can say we can create uh, an insert on all of these. All right, so now all of these will be getting power from this block. Okay, so I think we can put uh, this as high as 10K. Okay, so it looks like uh, 10,000. Yeah. Okay, so now all of these are getting power to these. Uh, like I said, we're going to completely automate this, okay? So we're going to configure this that on the back side, it's going to be an input output. Actually, we can just put it as a gray on the back side. Okay. Uh, because we can, that just means that it has an open port back there and it will let whatever is uh, managing it handle that. So panel two, we're going to set to water fluids. Okay, so we're going to create panel two as fluids here. And we're going to say, Right here, we're going to extract from this at a uh, okay, so at a rate of one thousand. And we're going to uh, go down here, create an insert on all of these. Okay, and we see that all of these now have water in it. Now, um, I'm thinking here, give me one second while I figure this out and I will, I think I have it. Uh, I want to put in dirt seeds in here, fire seeds in there, appetite seeds in there, and saltpeter seeds in there. Okay, so what we're gonna need Two more uh, items. 
Uh, we're going to set down a crafter right here. Uh, and um, I'm going to need this drawer here. This this will get moved over to that system here in just a second. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll set up a drawer system for this uh, somewhere where we can access it with this. Can we make a functional uh, a storage slave? Uh, storage controller, uh, controller access point. I think that's what we want. Uh, I, I've not made one of these yet. But we'll say we'll set this here and link it to this. Do we, do we need to actually extend this controller? So what we need to do is add more range to this. So to add more range to that, uh, we've got to go into the wireless. Uh, I'm going to make three of these. I think we only need to put in one of these. Make it big enough. Okay, so yeah, all we needed is one. Okay, linked to the controller. So that should now allow me to have access to the stuff uh, from that controller. So we could put down the appetite here uh, and the stuff from these drawers we're going to use as a temporary holding. Configure all of these, okay? And now link, 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 link. And so now we come back here, we'll break this. There's infamous for breaking the ground all right, uh, controller or connectors. Uh, that one. Okay, so now Um, I'm drawing a blank on what I need to do next. Okay, so once all of those are in there, um, uh, can't really filter these, can we? Can we filter these on an item? So let's first set up uh, item. This will be item remove. So we're going to have all of these uh, extract. Uh, 
stack. At 10 per stack. Yeah, we can we can automate the exact ones we want. So we're going to say which one was that? That is Okay, it's this one. So we're going to have it extract this and we're going to have them go into here. Okay? So we're going to now put a dirt seed and dirt essence in here. Okay. Uh, and we're going to have this channel, uh, channel four, we're going to create a new item channel, create. This is going to be uh, extract on the controller here. Okay. We're going to just do stack and we're going to insert one here, but we're going to tell it to only insert the dirt seats here. We're also going to have it uh, insert stuff into this controller here in just a second on the same one. Okay, so um Okay, can we not? Okay, so we're we're gonna have to set these up as insert and extract. It prevents it from pulling them out and putting them back in. So now we've got dirt being processed. Uh, I'm gonna do this for the rest of these, and I will be right back after I get that done. Okay, guys, uh, I've got all of those set up, and now we're going to set this up. Uh, this is going to need Fire Essence, Dirt Essence, Appetite, and Salt Peter, as well as a spot for... Uh, I don't have sand over here. Grab a piece of sand here. Uh, and grab a piece of appetite as well out of here. Uh, and, oh, we, okay, so here we go. Um, take this, make this, okay? And we can stick this in here. Because it's going to make sand, it's going to make this stuff, and it's going to make appetite. So now we just need, say, um, stone. The stone pattern here, we're going to just go in here. say remember these but okay so there we go uh we're going to double click this we're going to remember that we're going to want the results of this recipe to stay in and that is fire and dirt Uh, is remembered and it makes sand okay that's an internal recipe uh the next recipe we want it to remember is also going to be an internal recipe and it's going to be all around like this with the appetite and it's going to make the appetite for us uh, on this recipe here going to be the last of the internals and it's going to be 
to make the potassium nitrate. Okay. So we could have gotten away with just a tier two crafter for this, but uh, I'd much rather have it as a tier one um, or a tier three. And we're going to have it uh, make the Fido grow as the last recipe. That's all this one does is make Fido grow. Okay. So what we're going to need is fire essence, earth essence, appetite essence, and nitrate here, or saltpeter. And we're going to have it, uh, on this crafter, we're going to have it insert. Okay. Uh, it's going to insert this, 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 and this um, into this. Okay. Uh, we're also on the power line. Remember here, we're going to have it insert on the power line. So now it's making the Fido grow. On the extraction line, we're going to have it uh, extract uh, the Fido grow here. And we're going to have it extract at a stack at a time. So it's it's going to pull it out. And it's going to put it all here in this. Now, on these, we're going to tell it that it can insert Phytogrow into each of these guys now. So we should get a stack of Phytogrow into each of the ones here. Uh, like so. And there, we're, we're getting more of those things. So it's creating uh, the stuff that we need. It's also backlogging it, which is perfectly fine. Um, and this is just to automate the phytogram that we're going to need. Uh, so... Uh, there is one last thing I want to do, and it is with this phytogenic isolator here. Right, this, and we're going to break this like this. Um, we're going to set it that. All it has access to is the back here. Okay. going to separate this one real quick. Place this here. Place uh, this connector right here. Okay, so now we should see a new one in here. And... We're going to set up a, another rafter. We should have one more crafter on us. Did I set that down somewhere and... Am I missing the crafter here? I don't see it. Okay, so... I must have set it down somewhere and I don't remember where. Um, it's going to go up here. Like. Okay. Uh, it's also going to get a blue connector on the back here. 
And now this one is going to be a little bit different, okay? Uh, it's going to pull out the seeds from over here. Okay, so we're going to make sure that it inserts here these seeds and appetite or phyto grow. Okay, it's also going to get the water from the water source. It's also going to get the power from here. Okay, so now we're going to set this up so that it does extract from here. Okay, so we're going to have it extract uh, on that panel. Um, but now this one up here, we're going to teach it uh, a few recipes. We're going to uh, remember these items here. Uh, I'm going to get a Uh, I'm going to teach it to do those recipes. We're going to make sure it also has power. So we're going to create the power line here. Okay, so it's getting the power. And we're going to teach it that it's going to uh, internalize all of this stuff. So this, with this, We'll make the prodendium essence, okay? We're going to now do another internal here. This with prodendium essences will make the tetrium essence. Um, remember gonna tell it to remember these. This is going to be another uh, internal recipe where it's going to make the Imperium. Okay. Now this will make the Supremium Essence. We'll remember this. Oh, we also want it to be an internal. Uh, because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we can come down from Insanium Essence. So our next one, let's see here. I would like to be able to do that. Let's take these real quick. Okay, so we'll remember this now. Okay, so uh, we're going to fill the rest of this up with bricks. Okay, and we'll have it remember. And now we want a, a extra seed, so this stays in here. But whatever it creates goes to the uh, output is the insanium seed, or essence. Okay, so now that we have that done, we could actually start taking this out 
up here and uh, started putting it in here, filling this up. So I'm, I'm going to have to do that between episodes. Uh, but I wanted to show the first. Insanium made. Because that's going to be cool. It's, okay, so now that we have Insanium made. Come over here, place. Well, we didn't want this. Um, break this. Sanium. Configure this. Figure it again, break it, place it back where it was. Okay, so now uh, what we'll do with this is this is this block. Uh, don't know where it is, just double click, it shows it right there. Okay, so this is. Uh, we're going to have an insert on this one. Uh, we're going to make sure that it's Insanium, or not Insanium, Inferium that gets placed there. Uh, and we're going to need uh, one more extraction. Um, items here create extract create insert I was gonna say stack at a time and now the Inferium is going to go in there it's all automated the basics of automating uh, this is done we can expand it easily so that's going to happen next episode, guys. If you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, hit that dislike button. Leave a comment down below why you disliked it. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And until next time. Later, Gators.